A new exhibition exploring Taiwan's pop music history is now open at Taipei's Zhongshan Hall. It's designed like a record store with old CDs and vinyls on display. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang takes us in for a look. The exhibition displays old CDs, cassettes, and Walkmans. Here at Taipei's Songsan Hall, this exhibition explores the evolution of Taiwanese pop music. Hundreds of CDs, cassettes, vinyls, and posters from 1970s to 2000s are on display. Visitors can play their favorite songs using a CD player or a Walkman. The most important thing is our location here at Zhongshan Hall, which is a very important historic site and a very important building for the history of Taiwanese music. This exhibition starts from Zhongshan Hall during the Japanese colonial period. It goes to the concerts of the 1950s and 1960s and then onward to folk music concerts after 1975. You can come to know all the stories when you come here. We Taiwanese people have our own languages, and we need to understand each other's languages and voices. In this record store, we showcase Hakka, indigenous and Taiwanese languages, hoping to help everyone see there is a lot of music on our land. This exhibition was curated by Global Music Award-winning concert producer Zhong Ru Xian. Pop music documentaries will be screened at the exhibition. Pop music masters will also hold lectures and performances at the venue. This my observation when visiting this exhibition is that when people enter the record store, everyone's perspective is different. I grew up visiting the record store all the time. I've spent many hours inside record stores. For me, if you place a given record in a different record store, the vibe changes. Record stores have a very subtle beauty. They're full of personal memories and feelings. I wouldn't get tired of them even after 1,000 visits. The exhibition aims to rekindle an appreciation for record stores while telling the story of Taiwanese pop music. The exhibition opened at Zongsan Hall on March 17th and will be on display until May 17th. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Yan Wenqian in Taipei.